Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Warden, the Information Literacy Librarian here at Jim Dan Hill Library. In this short video, we are going to briefly explore the EBSCOhost platform. Sometimes when we talk about databases, we can become a little careless with the vocabulary we use. For example, someone may say something such as, I looked in the EBSCOhost database, instead of saying, the database I looked at was on the EBSCOhost platform. This is a common mistake and one that is easy to make. It stems from a misunderstanding of how to read the records in the databases. EBSCOhost is actually the platform on which the database exists. If we click on this link for Academic Search Complete, you can see the EBSCOhost branding in the corner. Here in the middle above the search bar, you can see the name of the database I am actually searching, Academic Search Complete. If I click on the Choose Databases link, you can see all the databases that exist on the EBSCOhost platform. By hovering over the speech bubbles beside the name, you can read more about the individual databases. If you select more than one database by checking the box beside them, you can see that the searching line has changed. We are now searching multiple databases, each containing varying amounts of different content, all on the EBSCOhost platform. Now, when I enter my search terms and execute my search, I will see results from all these different databases in the list. I can see from the information about the article exactly which database this record was retrieved from. As you can see, different articles can come from all the databases I entered, so searching just one database is not necessarily the most effective way to pull the best results. If I click on a record, I can see more about the article, including the authors, the title of the journal, the volume, issue number, and page numbers on which the article appears. I can also locate the DOI of the article, or, if one is not available, I can copy the permalink for the article. Remember, the permalink is not the URL, that is, what you see in the address bar. You have to generate the permalink by clicking on the link icon to the right. Also on the right, I can email the article to myself, save it, and export the record to RefWorks so that it can generate a citation for me. I can also look at the citation generated by EBSCOhost by clicking on the Cite button, but those frequently have capitalization issues and lack the DOI or URL that is necessary for a complete citation. Please let us know if you have any questions about the EBSCOhost platform or about any of the databases that exist on it. You can contact us through the Ask a Librarian link at the top of the homepage or by emailing us at askref at uwsuper.edu.